Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with another FGO video reaction and this is kind of like technically a continuation of the part 1 video that I did. I am going to react to the leftover, not leftover obviously like I think I will need to make a few more videos on this because there is a lot of servants left for me to actually react to. Uh, the arcade version, uh, the <coughs> characters PV, uh, JP PVs that the arcade versions have and uh, in the previous video I uh, as far as I can remember I did 22 I reacted to 22 of those PVs and like you know a little bit like talked about them a little bit as well so I'm going to continue from that and uh, I can see three new servants have been added into that playlist I'll be linking down the playlist below if you guys want to check it out you can uh, like click on it and you'll find all the servants like you know they're like 90 I think four or five servants like uh, trailer PVs of the JP versions. So yeah, like I can see like three new servants have been added into it. So I'm going to first react to those three, then I'm going to continue from the like you know from <clears throat> where I ended in the previous video. So this is technically the part two of my previous video. It's a continuation, and I'll also be linking down the part one of my video in the description box. If you have not checked it out and you want to check it out, you can do so. So yeah, so let's get started without uh, wasting any more time. Um, uh, this is the first one is Junty Art Summer uh, Archer, and this is a new addition into this playlist, I think. So let's uh, check this out first. So here we go. <clears throat> okay. And there it is, the archer card. Wow, she has the swimming tube on her in her hand. <laughs> I'm looking forward to her animations. Alright, let's have fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to her animations, the dolphin animations. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Wow. <laughs> wow. Damn. All right. Mm, yeah, that must have took a lot of. What can I say? Um. What can I say? Like the animation was amazing. You know, the huge whales and I was really looking forward to this one because of the whole whale animation I wanted to see how they did it <laughs> you know and uh, yeah it was great uh, unfortunately I don't have her but I, I think I have all the Jun faces except her so it's kind of a shame but still you know it's tough being an F2P player <laughs> so yeah that was Jun uh, the Ark Summer version and uh, yeah it was a great uh getting great noble phantasm and it <laughs> you know it it satisfied my curiosity that i had how it would look like when it was properly animated and uh, yeah there it is okay so let's check out the next one the next one is uh <clears throat> mysterious heroine x alter and all right let's check this out <clears throat> Okay, and there she is. Heroin X Alta. Kuraswa Basa Saber. What? Kono hair, just to some good night as cop. No, it's fine. That's my yako, Zubaba to keep them. Yoidesco. What? She wants to cut off the air conditioner. Um. <laughs> Wow, I love the fact that she actually says that I'm... Okay. Okay. Alright, that was nice. <laughs> I love the fact that she actually says in the beginning I'm a berserk and then she like looks at the Excalibur and says that... um. No, I'm a saber. <laughs> oh, 
god wow that was funny um yeah okay so <clears throat> i barely even use her so i i was <clears throat> gonna kind of unfamiliar with her i and like you know I, I don't even have any friends who have her as a support and i don't even like you know i, I really even use her sometimes so i as far as i remember i ne like, you know i think i've seen her noble phantasm one or two times so it's kind of uh nice to see it like you know animated here so yeah that's something and <laughs> her dialogue is quite uh you know funny as she says that like you know it's cold here so i should cut down the air conditioner or something <laughs> like that <laughs> okay all right um let's check out the next one the next one is uh astria uh did we react to this i, I don't think so i don't think i re reacted to this or did i anyways let's check this out um I'm sorry if I've already reacted to this. I cannot remember. I don't think I have. Let's see. I'll get reminded after I watch our animation. Wow. She looks great. No, I've not reacted to her. I love her way of speaking, like that Ojo-sama voice. Oh, that's... Alright. Wow. Oh, she's fighting Ray. Kind of makes sense because both of them were in El Maloi case fight. Wow, okay, um, if you remember, I, I was kind of like, you know, making this whole thing where I was kind of, uh, like, you know, ranking the Noble Phantasms, so I'm going to resume that, um, this is the best anime, I, I'm kind of a, a bit biased about her because, you know, that's, this is Luvia we're talking about, like, two of the best characters in Fate, according to me, are Luvia and Rin. I know both of them like are always at each other's throats but still I love them both so <laughs> so that's why obviously I'm a little bit biased towards her but you know like she looked amazing like her design and everything and uh, you know like the way like everything everything about her is perfect and one thing I, I always feel is kind of a shame because obviously this is Astria you know like this is not completely Luvia but I would have loved if she had that like haughty Ojo sama laugh, you know, that oh ho 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 that laugh. Oh my god, like if, if they added that, I would have been a happy person. But unfortunately, I don't think Astria does that. It's a real <laughs> shame because I would have loved to hear that. Uh, unfortunately, but still, like, you know, the way she talks and everything kind of is similar to Luvia, you know, that, the, that Ojo sama voice, like the way they talk, you know, Yoroshikute. Uh, and uh, like you know goki gen yo like that that type of talking <laughs> that refined way of talking like that's that's another thing so yeah like uh that was that was great you know and i have to say like looking at her as an animated character she looks amazing uh like you know like her normal picture i know i'm not a big, big fan of her normal like you know uh, in-game picture uh, the, the 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 sprite that they use in the card but if if you look at her in like in uh, like you know in an <clears throat> what do you call it in, in an when it, she's been animated as a fully 3D model, she looks amazing. Her design is very good. So yeah. Anyways, um, I, I'm kind of rambling about <laughs> Lufia, but yeah, I, I I really like her so much. I, okay, so um, let's check out the next. Okay, so those were the three new additions to this list, and now I'm going to resume uh, from uh, what do you call it from the servant that i actually left uh you know like uh when i ended the previous video from that servant i i ended in it in nightingale you know, i ended the video previous video from nightingale so i'm going to resume for the next servant the next servant is mew mew edelfeld so all right let's check this out so this is mew edelfeld All right, there she is. Haha. 
Oh, wow, she bomb bows. Okay. Miu des. Sei wa ichi o Edelfeld to. Stecki no magical sapphire. Oh, sapphire is here as well. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting uh, sapphire to have voice lines as well. Wow, she's fighting Emilia. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Damn, that's a huge magic circle. All right, that was new Edelfeld, and I was quite surprised when I saw like Sapphire speaking as well, um, and like you not know, her being animated. That's kind of nice, you know, because obviously they're like a team. So yeah, and. Uh, <clears throat> She was fighting Ilya, I guess, and uh, yeah, it kind of makes sense as like both of them are from Prisma Ilya. But yeah, it's a nice animation, and um, I also do not have not used Mew that much. Uh, I I barely even have her in my friend support list. Neither do I have her, nor my friends have her. Uh, I think one or two of them have her, but <clears throat> they don't put her in. So like, yeah, it's kind of like. Uh, I'm not accustomed to her fighting style and to her uh, noble phantasm, so it's kind of a new thing. So yeah, that was Mew Edelfeld. Let's check out the next one. The next one is obviously Ilya. <laughs> okay, so let me guess who she's going to fight with. Either Mew or Chloe, either of them. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing Ruby will also have some voice lines here. Okay. <laughs> she is a little. Ilya, they must. Shogaku Gonese des. Itio. Okay. Oh, Shoto. Yatemasu. Hi. Wait, Ruby's not speaking? Nanka Gai, Yakuni Tatsunoka, Wakarana Kido. Demo, say it by Gamarimas. Ruby, Jamo. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Okay, who is she fighting? She's fighting Ishtar? Wait, why? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Her, uh, okay, there you go. A noble phantasm is quite impressive, you know? And, okay, uh, why was she fighting Ishtar? I, I, I don't know, like... Uh, I'm not so sure, but obviously, like, Ilya and Ishtar, like, you know, Rin know, knows each other. So, I'm guessing that's why, like, because they were both part of Fate Stay Night, I'm guessing. <clears throat> but, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, um, that was Ilya. And uh, again, like you know, they like Ruby also had a, a voice acting and like a little animation. It's kind of nice because, as I said, like you know, both of them are a team, so that's why. And uh, yeah, the uh, the game noble phantasm is quite simple, where she basically comes like you know, kind of jumps up and shoots a beam. It's kind of similar here, but uh, like because of the animation and the three D modeling, it looked really nice. So yeah, that was Ilias Phil Bon Eisenberg. Let's check out the next one. And obviously it's Kuro, like, okay, let me guess who Kuro will fight, I don't know, um, uh, probably Mew or what is happening, just a sec, um, okay, there you go, why the hell is it buffering, sorry about that, all right, <clears throat> oh, she's an uh, event-free servant, so that's why. <coughs> Damn, that was impressive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, Blackbeard. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, she's fighting Emiya, sorry. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> wow. Alright, um... 
one thing I have to say is uh, I really love her, like, you know, uh, Noble Phantasm animation in game where she basically, you know, kind of uses her weapon and kind of like just like colorful as well, kind of goes around and it like it does the, its thing and she kind of blows a kiss. And I think here, just a sec, let me check this out again. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's still okay. Like, you know, like, I, I think uh, the in-game one is a little bit more flashy. But here it kind of like, you know, uh, because I think uh, the in-game animation uh, is like, you know, takes a lot of less, uh, qu quite less amount of time to actually do everything. And they in this animation, they took a bit of time to actually show the animation and everything. So like in in, in game, uh, Noble Phantasm is very flashy. It happens very quickly and like, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> but here it's like, you know, they did the animation properly and all. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, it's still impressive. She actually teleports back and slashes. And uh, yeah, like her fighting Emiya is <laughs> quite appropriate, I think. Okay, wait a minute. Did I really see that wrong? I thought, yeah, he was fighting Edward in the beginning, um, Blackbeard. But then she, she switched to <laughs> Emiya later on. Anyways, um, all right, the next one, um, Arthur Pendragon prototype. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I also barely okay, I'm talk about it later. Wow, she, he, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm accustomed. <laughs> Okay. Okay, he has his hood on here. I'm guessing. Okay, there you go. Wait, is is he fighting Mordred? <laughs> Arthur's voice. Female Arthur's voice. Wow. Okay. I have a few things to say. <laughs> First of all, it's funny seeing <laughs> him actually fighting moderate. <laughs> oh god. I think it would have been appropriate if the female Arthur like fought moderate, but anyways, you know. <laughs> but yeah, and um <clears throat> Okay, that's one thing. Another uh, thing is uh, obviously like the the voice that we hear and I, I, I got this from one, one of the you guys like you guys commented that um, I think Proto Merlin and uh, Saber which is the female version Arturia, uh, Arturia Pendragon both of them have same voice actresses and I think Merlin and uh, Arthur Proto they have the same voice actors so what basically happens here is like when he is uh, chanting his uh, noble phantasm lines and uh, the voice that we hear from uh, you know the background is basically uh, Arturia's voice or proto Merlin's voice you can either say both I'm guessing in this uh, in this instance it's probably proto Merlin's voice because you know this is uh, the male Arthur and that's the female Merlin so I'm guessing that's why so that's something that I got to know like you know like from the comment section so yeah it's kind of cool you know <laughs> in a way so yeah. Oh, uh, another thing. Like I, I love the fact that when like you know the female uh, Arthur Pendragon in his in her noble phantasm swings the uh, uh, her weapon from top to bottom, and here basically he like you know he obviously he does the Excalibur thing, and but here Arthur Proto uh, swings the uh, weapon from bottom to top. It's, it's kind of like a little like you know difference, but still <laughs> kind of uh, like you know. Uh, anyways, okay, um, let's, let's check the next one out. Arthur Lancer, uh, Arthur Pendragon Lancer, Alter. <clears throat> All right. There she is. Wow, she has her horse. Damn, her armor looks cool. 
あなたの道行きを阻むもの全てを打ち砕こう。わお、OK、Her 3D モデルズ、Pretty Impressive。Fighting Drake。Oh my god! Wow! Okay, that's impressive. Haridongo Phantasm is really impressive.、Uh, one thing I noticed,、um, I'm not sure if we had that in the mobile version as well, but when she puts the lance up, Those little things, those thorny things, they kind of get destroyed. And then the whole whirlwind starts,、uh, you know, happening. So, yeah.、Uh, I'm not sure if the mobile version has that, or I probably have not paid attention. I'll pay attention next time, you know, when I use a noble phantasm. I always I, I have her in my,、uh, you know, as a servant. So, yeah. Alright, and her 3D model is really cool looking, you know, especially the armor that is made like with all the. It's really cool, and、uh, yeah, that was kind, kind of nice. Alright, the next one Jack the Ripper. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Oh my god, she looks so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, god, son, okay. Okay, her n o r a l Phantasm is very simple. Let's see how they do it here. Wow, her eyes are glowing on. Whoa. Okay,、uh, that was a nice noble phantasm. She actually, like, you know, goes into the fog and disappears and then comes back again and slashes the enemy. It's kind of cool. And when she actually disappears, it feels as if her voice is echoing. That's another cool little, like, you know, effect that they gave here. And、uh, yeah. Okay,、uh, one thing, I'm sure you guys know this.、Uh, her, the voice actor of Jack the Ripper is the same、uh, voice actor, act actress of Nero Claudius. I'm sure you guys know this. Like, you know, both of them have shared the same voice actress. And,、uh, like, you know, I'm a huge, like, you know, I, I love Nero's voice. That's why I, I was quite curious, like, you know, who voices. So I kind of checked it out, and that's how I got to know that Jack the Ripper has the same voice actress、uh, as Nero. And,、uh, <clears throat> like, and then I actually, like, you know, recognized the similarity. Like, before that, I, I did not recognize it. And when I like, got to know that, yeah, Jack the Ripper is also voiced by Nero's voice actress. I was like, oh yeah, they really sound similar. And then, like, you know, it kind of clicked. <laughs> like, as it,、uh, like, you know, as they say, seeing is believing or something, like, you know, something like that. So, yeah, that's one thing. And, like, you know, she, she, like, she, she's, uh, um, I think she,、uh, her name is Sakura Tange, I think. And she also did,、um, not, obviously not from this anime, but from、uh, another like, fav uh, famous character. Of anime that is Card Card Sakura from Card Captor Sakura. She's also her voice actress. So that's just something, a little, <laughs> you know, information. Yeah. Anyways, okay, let's check out the next one. Um, Mordred. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fighting Saber. <laughs> Outer Pen Dragon. Let's see. Oh boy. And there she is. Saber! Mordred to see Sanda! Damn, her voice. <laughs> no, your dad is not here. <laughs> the first thing she says is that is, is dad here? What? <laughs> I guess. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> expected. <laughs> oh my god. I find it funny her, seeing her beating up. Oh, <laughs> do you? Oh boy. Damn. 
Okay, her normal phantasm is fairly simple, like we all know that. Uh, uh, it just like swings her weapon. And uh, <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> it's funny her, like, you know, introduction scene. She basically, again, the first thing that she says is that, is, is my dad here? <laughs> oh boy. And uh, also, her beating up Arthur is kind of funny in a way. <laughs> but yeah anyways okay so that was moderate let's check out the next one oh the next one is umu bright or nero bright so yeah <laughs> oh boy <laughs> and there she is wow <laughs> oh my god, that Umu. <laughs> Yome Saber. <laughs> bright Saber or Nero Bright. Alright. Oh, she's fighting Karna. Okay. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> you know what? I I like this noble phantasm now. Yeah, this this is really great. I I, I love her. Uh, especially um, obviously the the dome that comes out in the background, and then she actually like you know swings her weapon like that, and kind of poses in the end, like <laughs> the JoJo pose or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, like that was great. And I mentioned it before, obviously, like I love her voice. You know, the voice actor does an amazing job. And the whole Umu is just so damn cute. <laughs> and the funny thing, um, her, not this version, but the other Saber version, you know, the, the Nero Claudius uh, four star. She, she's, I think she's my first. Like if you if you exclude um the four star servant that you usually get from the tutorial and stuff, if you exclude that, she's my first four star servant. You know? Like I uh, I think when I first started the game, Nero Fest was going on, and she was on rate up, and I really liked uh, like you know Nero because uh, as I can remember, I probably saw I can't remember, but I I quite like Nero, so I rolled for her and I got her thankfully. So yeah, she, she's like. One of my first servants not this one the other one the red saber but yeah that was it all right let's check out the next one next one hokusai and this is the foreigner hokusai <clears throat> and there it is <laughs> Damn her voice. I never noticed it before. Oh, I never really paid attention to her voice. It's really nice. Oh my god, her animations are just so gorgeous, the paintings that... Oh my god. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is the best noble fantasy. I really love her Noble Phantasm animation, you know, like the Hokusai waves that come and all the paintings and all. And it looks so damn amazing. And also not only her Noble Phantasm, her normal attacks as well, they are really done well at the same time. And I never really noticed it before because obviously I don't have her. Um, her voice acting is really nice. Uh, like, you know, like the way she talks is kind of different. And I think like she has a little dialect of I'm not sure what that dialect was the way she was talking. So yeah, it's kind of nice. I, I you know I found out a few new things after watching this. Uh, number one is I really like her 
uh, you know, voice. That's one thing <laughs> that I found out. <laughs> All right. Anyways, okay. Let's check out the next one. The next one, Amakusa Shiro. Okay. Again, this is another character that I barely even see nowadays. I don't see anyone having Amakusa Shiro in their, you know, in the support list. Or maybe it's just my friend list. I don't know. Servant, ruler, Amakusa Shiro Tokisada. Hmm. Daruka ni nite imasu. Ha. Tanin no sora ni toyu yatsu desu yo. Damn. Kimemashou. <laughs> the black keys. <laughs> oh, she's fighting. He's fighting uh, John D. Arc. Okay, that makes sense. Damn. All right. Okay, that was Amakusa Shiro. So as I was saying, I barely even see her him being used on our days. I'm not sure, or maybe it's just my friend list, you know, like, like I don't even see him anymore. And neither is he, like, you know, featured in any of the story missions or anything. But I'm not sure. Like it's, it's as if they like kind of forgot about him or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, but in, in the Carnival Phantasm, I remember we saw him, you know, in Carnival Phantasm, uh, the second one. He was there. But yeah, anyways, like I don't even see any people using him anymore. So yeah. All right, that was Amakusa. Okay, let's check out the next one. Let me guess, is this Semiramis? Oh no, it's Archer. Okay, <laughs> Ishtar. <laughs> it would be funny if it was Semiramis. All right, Ishtar. There you go. Okay, I've seen her Noble Phantasm before from the previous video that I did. You know, but still, let's check it out again. Another one of the best you know, characters, according to me, in FGO. Wow. Damn. Why are we getting a close up of her? オンラインなら人間になんて手は貸さないけど、まあ、一度くらいはこんな気まぐれがあってもいいし、全力で私を喜ばせなさい。Damn. All right. I guess. <laughs> the witch was pointing at me. I felt that. <laughs> oh, she's fighting <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, I love a noble phantasm. It's basically throws Venus at you. Oh my god, yeah, I I'm really biased about her, you know, like everything about her. Anything, like, you know, anyone connected to Rin, <laughs> obviously, like, you know, like, she'll be a definite uh, top for me. Like, whatever, like, you know, whoever she is. Uh, every Rin face is top in my book. So yeah, <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> um, her <laughs> introduction scene was kind of, I don't know, like different from the other servants, like she was basically like, we were getting a close up of her, it's as if like she was basically holding us, you know, by, <laughs> by the, by the collar or something like, <laughs> and then she like, you know, points at us and all, but yeah, anyways, it kind of makes sense because of her personality, you know, like it's as if like she wants everyone looking at her and all. And uh, obviously that's the ba like, main difference of Ishtar and Ereshkigal, like their personality. It's basically the opposite. But yeah, and uh, <coughs> obviously the Noble Phantasm is fantastic. It's funny seeing her actually fight Gilgamesh. <laughs> it would have been even funnier if it was Gilgamesh Castor. But in a way, uh, like, you know, it's kind of appropriate because Gilgamesh Archer and, you know, Ishtar is also Archer. So... <laughs> But yeah, anyways, like, uh, her noble phantasm is al as always amazing, like, you know, she basically throws Venus at you, and yeah, <laughs> like, you know, that's uh, uh, amazing. Alright, the next one, um, Helena, Blavitz Christmas, okay, I reacted to this in the previous video, uh, you know, no, another video as well, but yeah, let's just, let's just check it out, anyways. <laughs> Mm. 
ライダーのエレナ・ブラバツキーよさあ子供たちに贈り物を届けなきゃ<笑> All right, she's a little Santa <laughs> with her. Present for you. All right. I always have seen this before, but. <laughs> Her Christmas tree is basically a UFO. <laughs> All right. Okay, one thing. Um, one thing I'm. Like, I've always wondered, and I never checked it out.、Uh, I'm sure you guys know about this. So, can you let me know that why is Helena Blavisky always, like, you know,、uh, related with the UFO? We always see a UFO with her. Is this some kind of、uh, relation between them? Like, let me know if you guys know, like, you know, in the comment section. Because、uh, I, I've always thought about it, but I never really checked it out.、Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of relationship between them. So, I'm quite curious about it. But yeah, anyways, okay,、uh, this is an exclusive servant, arcade exclusive servant. I kind of checked them out in another video. So yeah,、um, Noble Phantasm is obviously like, she uses the Christmas tree as an UFO and, <laughs> you know,、uh, defeats the enemy with it. So yeah. All right, the next one. Oh, Izo. Okay, this will be good.、Uh, I'm looking forward to an, his Noble Phantasm. It should, it should be really amazing. Let's see. All right, there it is, the silver card. Oh, damn, the voice. Manslayer is though. <laughs> damn, what? No, there's no class like that. <laughs> Okay, so he's fighting Medusa, alright. Okay, let's see his Noble Phantasm. Damn! Oh! 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 Oh my god, that was good. That was a good Noble Phantasm, oh boy. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, you know, like, I love how eccentric he is. <laughs> Always. You know, how over the top he is. And yeah, and, and that's like, you know, that's basically his charm point.、Uh, the way he, like, you know, talks and everything, all this kind of snapping at everyone. <laughs> like, you know, bad mouthing you, insulting you. <laughs> yeah, anyways. And obviously, his Noble Phantasm was really great. I was kind of looking forward to it because I really love his. In game noble phantasm, where he basically, like, you know, like, stabs the person and, like,、uh, <laughs> like that's brutal. It's completely brutal. <laughs> But yeah. And then she, he laughs like a madman. And <laughs> wow. Okay. I was looking forward to that. It was great. All right. Let's check out the next one. Oh, Okta Soji. All right. Her noble phantasm is really simple. So let's see、uh, what the arcade version has done. And.、Uh... Oh god, what is even happening? These are like one minute videos. Why is it buffering? Just a sec. Alright. I think my internet is kind of. Yeah, going slow. Like, the image quality is. Just a second. Damn. What? Okay. And now it's Arthur. Okay. Okay, Hanover Phantasm is very simple. Okay, let me just 
why is it in low quality what is even happening i think my internet is kind of acting up you know god damn ah um anyways okay so as i was saying let it just buffer um as i was saying you know like um her freaking distracting okay as i was saying um her noble phantasm is pretty simple you know she basically like kind of lunges at you and defeats you in one shot and uh, <laughs> the way she kind of acted when she was like you know doing her servant reaction was kind of <laughs> cute you know i kind of suddenly like you know saying that oh my howdy <laughs> okay all right so that was uh okta soji and oh god it's even happening okay let's check out oda nobunaga Oh boy. Boy, her voice actor. Alright. Why is her model. Her model kind of looks weird. Oh boy. <laughs> wow all right that was oda nobunaga okay um her voice actress ria kugimia uh, i'm sure everyone knows her you know she like she's very famous and obviously like you know like i'm a huge fan of her because uh <clears throat> you know she did a few of the characters who i really loved in when i started watching anime um uh, few of the animes which i'm talking about are toradora and like you know aisaka taiga and uh from shakugan no shana shana from uh zero no skaima uh luis as far as i can remember that was her name you know these characters like she basically does each and every sundar character <laughs> like you know and uh, I, i'm a huge like you know i, I like you know, I'm, I'm a huge sundra fan i, I love all sundras so like and that's why like obviously like the like her coupled with the uh, like you know characters her voice and her the characters match so well that i'm a huge fan of her uh so yeah like it's it's amazing i really love her voice acting and mao uh, nobunaga has her voice actress as well so it's kind of like a total win in my book and uh, like like she like you know her character really like in oda nobunaga the the character that we see in the in game and obviously in the arcade version um it it really matches her voice and yeah that's that's kind of <laughs> like you know uh, great that it m mixes so well and uh, yeah her noble phantasm was fairly simple i think her, her i don't know like her model seemed a little bit of weird like it seemed as if like here look at it like it looks like she's a uh, th those uh, what do you call them uh those figurines she looks like one of those figurines i don't know why but i feel like it like her model was kind of weird but anyways uh yeah that was oda nobunaga all right let's check out the next one it's media media lily all right <clears throat> And there it is. Oh wow, she just floats. <laughs> Servant, caster, media. This. Ano, yoroshiku onegai shimas. Okay, she gives a little bow. That's nice. <laughs> just, just well mannered. Who's <laughs> fighting Emiya? <Amia. laughs> oh, wow, what? <laughs> You know what I realized after seeing this? She's perfect as a Maho Shoujo. She's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. I realized it this late after seeing the arcade version of Noble Phantasm. And oh, I think, uh, yeah, I think in one of the um, Ilya events, uh, in Prisma Ilya events, he was one of the, I can't remember, but one of the Maho Shoujo's, I think. I'm not sure, but. Uh, anyways, I've forgotten about it completely. 
but yeah that was media lily and uh, <laughs> like i i like media you know like uh, not only this media but also like caster media uh, uh both of them are casters what am i even saying the adult uh, media as well but yes yeah, kind of sad like you know like uh, her story like not only her uh, like, you know original lore the whole thing with the jason and not only that but at the same time after she got summoned the thing that she went through you know like the master that she first served was such a douchebag and she was basically left for being like you know she was almost dying and then uh sochiro came in so yeah it's kind of sad like her story like not only in her original lore but also after she got summoned and uh yeah and by the end of it like her fate is really bad like in all the routes like uh, i think in one th one or two of the routes sochiro dies as far as i can remember and like you know media also kind of dies and all so that's why you know like that's why i really love the spin-offs of fate that fate does like you know the uh, for example the the one spin-off um what was it called mm, everyday uh, uh, imiya sanchino gohan i think that was called like emia's everyday cooking or something like that the, the, the little cooking show <laughs> you know uh that show carnival phantasm and hollow ataraxy as well like you know she has a really nice like you know conclusion in there as well and like you know i really love these like you know these type of spin-offs where obviously all of these characters like you know who doesn't even like you know who doesn't deserve to die so brutally you know them kind of having fun and living their own life it's kind of nice to see it so yeah like i really loved hollow ataraxia you know the novel the visual novel and uh, like it was really great to see, like you know like it really satisfied my curiosity of seeing all these servants living a happy life but <laughs> yeah anyways okay yes, kind of went on a different direction but yeah okay let's check out the next one um next one is drake so yeah <clears throat> all right there this is break and uh... oh damn yo okay um uh, oh boy the jiggle physics damn <laughs> okay oh she's beating up peach makes sense <laughs> Oh boy. Whoa. All right, that was it. All right, so that was um Drake. Now like I I don't know why is it just me or something? Like you know um here in the picture you know like just a second let me check another thing yeah all right here it is where is her picture here here in her picture she seems fine but when we see her 3d model and her in the noble phantasm i look at her head and i don't know why i feel something is missing I think in one of her noble phantasm uh, ascent uh, not noble phantasm sorry in one of her ascension she wears a hat or something i'll have to check that out uh, i cannot remember at all that's why I, I always feel like her head is kind of empty like there is supposed to be something there but like you know like it seems kind of empty like i always feel this whenever i see her <laughs> uh, it's probably just me but you know that's uh, something anyways her noble phantasm was quite nice and uh, yeah it's funny like she was beating up ed <laughs> like you know blackbeard kind of makes sense all right all right the next one will be the last one i'll end this here because it's almost time all right the next one is obvious it's edward teach makes sense <laughs> oh boy this will be good I i'm looking forward to listening to him like you know talk he's a funny guy even though he's a you know person of questionable <laughs> Oh boy。これはこれは奇遇ですな。Oh. 
Oh boy. Oh, Edward is fighting Jolt. <laughs> Jolt or Berserker. Alright, again, it makes sense. Wow. <laughs> that that last scene was fantastic. All right. Um. Here's the thing. Um. When I started the game, I really did not like him. You know, I, I don't know why, but it, it, it kind. Of, I really did not like him. But then my opinion changed on him after, like you know, the Dojinshi event came in, which is currently kind of, like you know ongoing, the rerun event that is ongoing. Um. But you know, like the original Dojinshi event that came out. You know, the summer event where we got. Uh, Jolter Berserker and after playing that event um, I kind of warmed up to him you know like he, he's like a really cool guy like he's just, he's just like he'll be an amazing friend to just like you know hang out with and like you know <laughs> like talk about anime and like you know weep stuff <laughs> like, you know like fellow degenerates <laughs> so yeah like you know like I really warmed up to him uh, like as the event went on and by the end of it I, I, was, I, I really liked him so yeah, it's kind of like a funny story. So yeah, that was it. That was um, okay. I'm I'm going to end it here. And uh, that was Edward Teach, um, like forty three number. Um, we're almost halfway through. So I'm guessing it'll probably take two more videos for me to completely watch all the event uh, PVs, all the JP PVs. So yeah, and. Uh, like i'll probably like you know bring like you know upload another video record another video and upload another video by the next week uh, most probably next week uh because an event is going to start uh the las vegas event and i like you know i have a lot of things to do i'll have to record my summoning video and then i'll, I'll also have to record uh like you know me playing that i'm going to do the gameplay as well because i'm really looking forward to the las vegas event so all that stuff so if you guys are interested in that and if you're new to the channel you know like uh, check out when i like you know some, like you know uh, upload those videos as well the summoning video and i'm, I'm definitely going to summon from uh, miyamoto musashi berserker like uh, and also carmilla rider and uh, like yeah i'm going to do that and so, yeah like uh anyways all right so that was it so see you guys in the next video with the next part of this video so if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel uh or you haven't subscribed uh let me like you know help me get to 1k subscribers we're almost there comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out and as i said and i'm going to like you know make more videos on the upcoming event the las vegas event summoning video and the gameplay video as well so, like, you know, keep an eye out for that as well if you're interested. So, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with the next part of this video. The uh, arcade TV trailers that I'm reacting to. So, see you guys then. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.